I lived in Juarez, Mexico for three years without air conditioning. And what I would do in the morning I, is I would pack my water bottle full of ice, stick it in my leather bag and close it up and it would stay nice and icy for uh, four or five hours. This is the gadget bag. Let me show you how this works. It's all made of one, or I'm sorry, one major piece of leather with a couple of smaller pieces. This starts right here, goes all the way around. Nice scar here, by the way. All the way around, nice wrinkles and some nice scarring here. All the way around, all still the same piece, all the way to right up under the flap here. And then these pieces come down off of the same piece. On the side, we have just a single piece here and a single piece here with little pockets for your phone or lens caps, that sort of thing. This is the large. It is 14 inches wide and about 9 inches tall and about 7 inches wide. I say about because leather stretches and conforms to its use. So after a while, you'll find the dimensions may change a little. This is 8 and 3 quarters wide, about 7 and a half tall and about 7 and a half deep here. Let me show you the features of this and they aren't many. Voila. Look, nothing in here at all. Just one big open spot lined with pigskin all the way down and around except for the sides so that it forms. And then when you close it, it's a nice snug fit on top. I've got along the edges, if you notice right here, I've got some, uh, some reinforcements here to keep it nice and squared. So that, that way water and dust and heat and cold don't get in. So this fits, these both fit like a professional full frame camera with the battery grip and all that stuff with a lens attached. Uh, what I recommend is putting all your gadgets that can't be exposed to heat or cold. Put those in here. Use your camera and other things if you want to. Use it as a camera bag. Put, put all your other lenses, your batteries, your chargers, your video cameras in these bags, and here's why. Because when, uh, when you get it, if you look at the, the, read the instructions, it says, and you'll recognize this now, do not expose to temperatures over 140 or something like that, or below 32, or whatever the, the limit is. The reason is because the glass expands and contracts, the metal expands and contracts, and the rubber expands and contracts, the wires expand and contract at different rates. And so that starts causing uh, inconsistencies and breakdowns in your gear. So what you do, if you're going to put it in your car, your, your truck or whatever, in the extreme cold or the extreme heat, and you're going to leave it in there for a while, including your laptop, put it, your, your gear in bags like this that will insulate it and keep it nice and warm and cool or cool uh, for a long amount of time, or at least way longer than it would uh, in a regular bag. So. Uh, if you happen to be driving around Juarez, I can't guarantee that this will stop the bullets, but it will definitely stop the heat.